So the last part of this section is putting that into practice. And some real world examples. How am I dividing? So, first example. During a chemical reaction, the temperature in a beaker decreased every minute by the same number of degrees. The temperature was 56 at 1010. By 1042, the temperature had dropped to negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit. By how many degrees did it change each minute? We know it was decreasing constantly um, at a constant rate, so we should only get one number out. So our first question needs to be, how many degrees did it change altogether? Second question, how much time actually passed? So first, how many degree changes altogether? All together. All together. <laughs> so I'm going to say the difference. I'm going to let it be D or the, the change in the degrees, whatever you want to call it. So originally, the temperature was at 56 degrees Fahrenheit. And it changed. There was a difference of temperature had dropped to negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit. So what was our temperature change between those two points in time? We had all together 68 degree change. Okay. But was it increasing or was it decreasing? It was decreasing because we went from a positive to a negative. So I'm going to go ahead and make that a negative 68 degrees. Since it dropped, we'll make the change be negative 68 degrees because we dropped 68 degrees. Okay. So that was the total change in temperature. What about how much time had passed? How much time in between there? So we started at 1010, ended at 1042. So the difference between 42 and 10 is 32 minutes. So in 32 minutes, we dropped 68 degrees. So per minute, what are we talking about? So the total, the temperature, the total changing, going to be what? I want a unit per unit minute. So total change in degrees, total degree change divided by total time will give us a unit rate of change. So what are we looking at? Negative 68 degrees was the total change in temperature that we had. Total change in time was 32 minutes. This was in Fahrenheit, correct? Yes. All right. So 68 divided by 32, we're looking at negative 2.125 degrees Fahrenheit per minute. So since we know that rate of change per minute, we could ask, OK, at 10, 11, around what temperature was I at. Started at 56, a minute later I lost another 2 degrees, a little bit more than 2. So I'm around like 54 degrees after one minute has passed. So that tells us a lot of information. All right, one for you to try. During a chemical reaction, temperature in a beaker decreased every minute by the same number of degrees. Similar story. The temperature was 71 degrees Fahrenheit at 212. By 237, the temperature had dropped to negative 14. By how many degrees did it change each minute? So altogether, what did we have for a temperature difference? Started at 71, we found a difference, and the ending temperature was 14. So altogether, we had a change of 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And how much time had passed from 212 to 237? We are looking at 25 minutes. 37 minus 12, 25 minutes. 
So per minute, the rate of change for the temperature was what? Total degree change over the number of minutes. If you actually did the longhand division, what did you come up with? 3.4 degrees Fahrenheit per minute. But, what do you notice about mine that's probably different than yours? What does this change tell me? This tells me I'm increasing at a rate of 3.4 degrees Fahrenheit per minute. But, how is the temperature actually behaving? We started at a really big positive, pretty warm, and we went really negative. So, we need to change this rate. In reality, we're talking about an 85 degree difference, but we were decreasing. 